I have a quiz for anyone familiar with Inter Arma's earth-shatteringly good EP, The Cavern. I'm going to play some of it, and your job is to remember what comes next. So, what comes next? Of course, this is a trick question, because this exact same buildup resolves completely differently at different points across this long, complex piece. We know vaguely what will happen harmonically, because it's a big dominant function chord that resolves in every case to the tonic, but we don't know what riff it will take us to. In one case, it goes here. And later on, it goes here. I want to look a little closer at this way of organizing music, especially across long pieces like the 46 minutes of The Cap. Basically, I think of these moments that build up at two or more points in the track, but resolve in more than one way, as forks in a path. In the first option, from the example I just played, the buildup leads us back into the EP's main heavy theme. It's like we take a path that leads us back to where we started, starting another rotation through that material. When we make it through this rotation, we arrive at the same fork, the same buildup, but choose a different option, leading into an entirely new section of the EP. It's as if we're exploring a labyrinthine cavern with branching tunnels, some of which lead us back to where we started, and others of which lead into new areas. And really, this second path does lead us into a completely new area of the piece. For the last 12 minutes or so, we've been locked into rotations through the first big riff. That's this guy. And eventually, also its continuation, which is this guy. Only on the second of these buildups do we leave behind this first rotational riff area and move on to something new. There are a few more sets of moments like these in this cavern. I'll look at one more in this video. Here's another quiz. Same rules as the first one. What happens immediately after this? Again, a trick question for which I can only sincerely apologize. This block leads to three separate areas. First, it heads into a solo. Then it folds back onto itself, starting to build again. These first two feel like instead of relieving tension, the continuations from the builds just defer that tension. In the third build, all that accumulated tension finally gets released with what has to be one of the best, heaviest, most satisfying riffs ever written.
Normally, when music theorists talk about form, they talk about big, schematic, bird's-eye representations of pieces of music. That hasn't been my goal here, partly because doing that for the cavern would take a much longer video and wouldn't be all that interesting. What I do think is interesting, though, is how this huge formal design feels while we listen to it. And I think that these multiply directed moments are a big part of it. When I listen to this EP, I feel like I'm being led down a bunch of different paths, some of which we circle through lots of times, and others of which we only go through once. These multiply directed moments are forks in these paths, and different points in the music take different options, leading us either to music we've already heard, or entirely new music. But maybe even cooler is the uncertainty during these moments, even when I know this EP pretty well. These multiply directed moments still have the ability to keep me on my toes and surprise me. And maybe coolest is the metaphor of space that these moments create. Along with the forking path metaphor comes glimpses of cavernous depths. Thanks for watching. Please, please, please do your best to bike competent and scuba dive. See ya.